Okay, well not the snow we expected, only a couple inches. I will try to scrape it off here of the driveway just so when it does melt in the next couple of days it's not as muddy. <laughs> I'm not sure that did a whole lot, but got some snow off it. Okay, just finished grading my driveway. I mean, snow plowing it. Let's do a quick previously on episode three of the log cabin build. I'm hoping I fell it this way. Wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck. Well, it's gotta be Friday. As you can see, got this one hanging up there. Could bring the excavator down, tie a rope to it and pull it out, but it takes a long time to track all the way down here. So since I'm down here already with my mule and the mule's barely gotten any use this year i'm gonna try to give it a tug from the base and hopefully 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 it'll fall right down that's the plan let's see how it goes it's gonna be a cabin log so if i keep cutting it it's gonna be too short for the log i want for my cabin move like three feet, but must really be stuck up there. Let's try to get up there higher. Hey look, there's my woodshed. I sure wish it was up there. Nice the cabin and the pole barn. My first cabin spot was gonna be down here, but now that I'm up top, I got a woodshed down here. Not doing me a whole lot of good, but I'll figure out something for it. moved it six seven feet stumps way up there and we're still stuck i'm going to switch to a task where i know i'm making progress by putting in the work then we'll bring the excavator down and finally get that tree half done i'm going to turn it because we're only in the teens here flip it over so it warms on this other side so it's easier to peel now we're going to go get that tree this thing's coming down Hope it has 25 straight feet. Well, <laughs> guess I should have just cut this one up for firewood because uh, hit this rock here backing up and pop my track off. It's about lunchtime, so I had to have a lot lunch today. My wife made spaghetti last night, so I'll take a look at my grill here. If you're here for the cabin build, I promise it's coming. Just a slight delay.
got my pile of grease milked out of there. I think we're ready to try to muscle that thing back on there. First, you gotta get it on this little roller. Sure, run out of grease. I gotta charge the old phone and get to work here. So I'll turn off the video for a while and either show you progress at the end of the day or tomorrow, unless like a moose wanders through or something like that. All right, winding down my day here. I finished notching that one. So it's set and I'm ready to lay one across there and here. So I just finished peeling them, got them there. We'll get in the excavator, load them on and then we'll call it a day. Oh yeah, I had to finish with the old excavator cam. Warmer weather tomorrow, too. Things are looking up from this morning. Hey, well, one more 12 footer I need to find. We'll find that one tomorrow and get it on there. And that'll be finishing up level two. Got my 25 footer over there for this spot. We're rolling. I don't know how far we'll get this week. But, uh, making a little progress every day helps. So we'll see you in the morning. I was thinking last night, maybe some of my problem is tracking too much with the old excavator. So I wanted to try the truck to pull some of these smaller logs. Um, just to take a little wear off the excavator. So just got this 12 footer here. I found on the, from the driveway build and it's a good size for the cabin. So I'm gonna try to haul it up there with the truck. Let's hope it goes well. Made it, uh, 12 foot, no problem. I would not try the 25 footer though. So still gonna have to track it up with the long ones, but the smaller ones, yeah. The truck makes it up here a lot faster than the excavator wood. I feel like log peeling is such a big part of it. I got to show it at least a little bit in every video. Remove the thick stuff first with this spud. Then go back over it with the draw knife. And we spin it and do it all over again. There you go, peeled. Hey, okay, we're getting a little better. Small blemish here. That's nice and tight.
got that one notched in. This one's set, ready to go. Just ran out of concentration today to finish that one. So we'll get that one finished up in the morning and go find some logs. My log yard's empty, so we'll have to search out from logs in the morning and uh, back to peeling and stacking. Good morning. All right, ready to go. I excavator to warm up here in the morning and I'm gonna seed this hill. I'm next to the pole barn here, so this is where I tore up all the land and cut down quite a bit. So I wanna to try to get some grass seed to grow on this side hill here. Put that on there and then we'll go find some trees to cut. All right, there's my test strip. I got a bunch of that stuff off Facebook. Erosion prevention mat, so. If it helps the grass grow here, I can use it in a bunch of places down on my road. So we'll see how it goes. See how it grows. Down on the driveway here, got two potential trees that will widen my driveway here and here and also add to the cabin. So I'm actually thinking of removing them. Uh, I think I got 17 feet in that one and that one's only got 12 because of this crook. I got that one down and you, I missed it somehow. It was the best video I've ever made and I didn't turn the phone on. So we'll push the other one over and get it processed here. And Get it up to the cabin build, but unbelievable. It was such a good video too, believe me. Oof. We have to do some sanding on that one. I'll get the uh, longer one after, but um, I just thought this was unique. Maybe I can use it somewhere custom on the cabin. Just a really cool bend, so I snagged that one out of the ditch, but uh, get some peeling in. I just want to show you the bark on this one, so you don't think I'm a wimp by going through the with the spud first and then the draw knife. I mean, look at that bark. That's inch and a half, inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick. That's some thick bark. You do a lot of thinking while you're peeling the logs, so I set this up. That unique shaped one and I just came up with an idea for it but uh won't work on it this week stick around <laughs> you have to come back next week Phew. all right I'm gonna finish this one up and then get some lunch and then that one and then find some more and then sack and then peel and then check cut it's gonna be awesome I'll run it by a wife first of course but <laughs> All right, first I scribed it, now I roll it over and darken my lines. Then we do the initial cut with the big chainsaw. Then I prefer a hatchet and ax method of removing these slices. just hatch it in here to do a little less chainsaw work. And then I come in with the little one, a little more control so I don't cut past my line. And I finish with the grinder with this, I don't know, special blade I bought to the log cabin that we used to live in. I sanded the whole cabin with this blade. It takes off quite a bit of material, so. 
All right, then we do the other side. And then, since I already did the other side, in a perfect world, when we flip this over, we only have to do it once and it fits. But, world's not perfect. That's why we have Easter. Ooh, look at that gap. Ooh, I just gotta, this knot. Take some more wood out from that knot and it might sink down where it should be. Okay, hey, I've uh, moved some more material here. We'll try it again. There we go. That looks decent. Looking at this one, I don't like, uh, I just put this one on before that. I don't like how it's sitting because it's so long and obviously not perfectly straight. It's almost touching here, which is fine. But over here, my gap's too wide. So if my chinking is diameter of the widest span in my log, so I don't want it any wider than like three or four inches. And that's like probably five down here. So even though it's almost touching here, I'm gonna drop it down another inch. Um, and then it will probably be sitting on the bottom log there, but that's fine because once it's chinked, it'll all look uniform. Um, but I don't want the chinking to be too wide. I want three, four inches max of chinking, so I can't have a five inch gap down here. So I'm gonna notch that, re notch that one here. Um, and that'll probably be it for the day. And we'll be back for one more day tomorrow. All right, my boys were here this morning, so we were hanging out. We did a little hiking around the property. Um, and then I just got finished here with the excavator. Uh, I was working on my turns now that the ground's thawed again. Now I'm gonna go get another tree. We need a big one, 25 footer. Hey, so they're only here for a couple hours. They leave their stuff everywhere. It's another snowstorm this weekend, so I'm gonna stock up on my trees here. Found three, the appropriate size and length all right here. Usually don't like them, take them that close to each other, but right here, there's just, it's just loaded. So try to get these three down and then haul them out. too much holding wood on that second one. We'll do the same thing and pull this one off and then take that one down. All right, I got all three down. I just didn't want to bring my excavator over here because this is quite steep and it's rocky. So steep and rocky, if you go any sideways, your track's gonna slip right off. But fortunately it stayed on. I'll process these and then uh, get them over to the log yard. I got one fished out and hauled home. Now I'm gonna try to haul the other one out. The other two, one plus one. This one's an issue because it's on the other side of this dump down here. There, that's dump. And I'm trying to pull it this way. Can't do it. Can't track over here because it's too steep. <sighs> so, I guess I'll, uh, maybe I'll haul this one back and then think about this one. A little more. in here, here the slipping on the rocks right now. Darn rocks all under that right there. I can get back without my track falling off. Uh, cut the stump down. That's not a bad idea. I'm gonna cut that stump down. All right, thanks for helping. Ain't going anywhere, are ya? Better go put the bucket down. All right. 
Hi, where'd that stump go? You didn't see it? Holy smokes. Told you, it's a hill. You can't tell, but man. <laughs> Anybody know what these tools are for? Yeah, you guessed it. Good news, track went on pretty easy. So I got the second log back, ready to bring the third one back. Everything cleaned up. I got wood piles for the wood stove all over the place. And then I got slash piles to burn next winter. What, what an up and down week it was. Um, some trial and error, but uh, we made it through the week. We got three logs on two sides, as you can see here. I think next week, uh, I'll go over the layout of the cabin, talk about you know, my design and where, what I want it to look like. Um, so stick around for that if you're interested. I hope you enjoy the video. Happy Easter, hope you have a good weekend. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Oh yeah, special project for that next week. Well, maybe the week after. Could be three weeks, we'll see. One of these weeks. This turn, this could be it. Let's see, a big moment here. If you watch my road series, can I make the turn here in my truck? I've widened it like 14 times and... Ooh, close, but I don't know. I'm gonna back it up. It maybe. I might have made it, I don't know. But I don't want to go off the edge. Let's see where my tire track was. Oh, it would have been close. Got to add another foot. Yeah. All right. See you next week. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to check out my other videos. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook under Damasi's Log Cabin. Hit the subscribe button and then turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.